Over the last number of years, the YouTube algorithm has been constantly shifting. Every single day, it goes through micro adjustments and hundreds of times a year, the algorithm is shifting. So that means that in any given day, what works today might not necessarily work tomorrow. There are a lot of people who think that if they just copy someone else's titles and put them on their own channel or the thumbnails or subject matter, that it's gonna work just as well for them as it did for the original content creator. That couldn't be further from the truth. And it's for our own benefit. We should be looking for ways to be innovative, to create new content. And YouTube would be completely stale if everybody was the same, everybody was ripping content from everybody else and blah 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 you'd end up with a big mess and nobody would want to come back to the platform if you are lacking in views if your views look like a cliff that falls off after every single video you don't have a nice wave momentum then i'm going to talk about why and i'm going to tell you how you can fix that so that way you can get things back on the right track and you can become that successful youtube creator that you've always wanted to become you know what I'm talking about. So I've narrowed this down to four general reasons why your viewing pattern might look like it's falling off of a click. And if you guys have any more ideas about this, I wanna hear about it in the comments. So just make sure you leave a comment. Okay, number one is you don't have enough evergreen content. Meaning you didn't start your channel with a foundation of how-to content. The fastest way to get views on a channel from zero is to start with how-to, is to start with evergreenness, is to start by using titles that other people are searching for. If you use how-to, anything, how to prune bushes, how to wash your car, how to change your window tinting, how to un- uh, let's not do a poop joke. If you start with that type of content, you have a higher likelihood of building an evergreen base of views, meaning that as those videos pick up steam, your viewership will slowly start to increase. You gotta be able to see it in the window. Sorry about that, guys. If you don't start with an evergreen or search-based approach and you just launch straight into trying to create viral content, it's hit or miss. It could work, but for most of you, it's probably not gonna work because there's special skills and there's special knowledge that you need to have in order to create viral content. And if you don't have those skills or that knowledge, you're just gonna look kind of cringy. We've all seen those videos, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So that's one of my recommendations is always start with an evergreen base of content. If you're seeing your channel wide views fall off a cliff, no matter where you're at in your YouTube journey, you can always go back and start incorporating that type of content back into your content strategy. It's not a big deal. If your content strategy is focused on virality and it's still under some niche umbrella theme, then you can go back and you can start creating content that is more evergreen. And you can even make evergreen viral content. On our family vlog, I used to do that all the time. Our highest viewed videos, 32 million views, still gets thousands of views every single month. It's nine years old. So you can make evergreen content that is viral, that serves both purposes. Another reason why you might be seeing that steep drop off is because you're not bringing people back. You've created one and done content. YouTube is highly focused on viewer satisfaction. And part of that viewer satisfaction metric is are they coming back? Look at your analytics, go to AVPV and see what your AVPV is. If it's a 1.1 in the last 28 days, then people are only returning on average 1.1 times. If it's a four, then you're getting people to come back four times over the course of 28 days, which is pretty incredible. The higher that number is, the better it looks for YouTube. The more the YouTube algorithm says, hey, ding, 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 this channel is bringing people back, so we should give it more traffic. Think about it like this. Remember in high school when you would try to meet friends? If you made a friend on a Monday and then on a Tuesday you come back to school and that person no longer wanted to be your friend and you were doing this every single day, what's the problem? The problem probably isn't that friend, it's probably you. You are either too selfish, you talk too much, you stink, you were too needy, too clingy, you were down on yourself. There's so many reasons why kids chose not to be friends with the people around them. It's the same thing on YouTube. If your people aren't coming back, it's something wrong with you or the content that you're creating. You need to make sure that you're creating content that is valuable for your audience. You gotta make sure of that. And listen, hey, you guys, before I forget, if you would like, I have a free YouTube blueprint down in the description below. You can click that at any time. And if you don't want it, I don't care. Just keep watching. The other thing you could check in your analytics is your new versus returning. So go to your analytics, go to your audience tab, look at that blue and purple line. If your blue line is always above your purple line, that means your audience isn't coming back. If your purple line is always above your blue line, that means you're not reaching a new audience. Either way, the absolute best looking line chart that you can have is when the blue and the purple are intersecting each other, meaning you're 
appealing to your current audience and then you're also appealing to that new audience. That's how you know you're gonna be successful. If it's all blue and no purple, then it means that you're doing something wrong and that could contribute to why you're seeing that steep drop off. Number three, your content could be too niche meaning you're just not appealing to a broad audience. And I've looked at a lot of your guys' channels, some of the channels that I'll see in the comments, I'll go to them, check them out. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, a lot of your channels are just only appealing to a very tight audience. You gotta think about it like this. If you're appealing to broad food in general, then you're gonna attract a lot of eyeballs to the content because a lot of people are interested in food and cooking. There's this weird type of food that I just learned about today called a balut. If your entire channel was about balutes, it would be very niche focused. Actually, it'd probably do very well because it's one of the most disgusting things that I've ever seen in my life. If you've ever eaten it, then I wanna hear from you in the comments. What did it taste like? Was it good? <laughs> and for those of you guys who haven't seen it, uh, we got a picture going up right now, so you'll be able to tell exactly what it is. Would you eat it? Would you eat it? Leave that down in the comments below. If you go to niche, say you're a cardboard analyst, you know every type of cardboard and its thickness. There's probably a big demographic of people who are interested in cardboard too. I can't think of really like any super niche thing that's super boring. If you're a, a tax analyst, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, if you're too niche, then you're not going to appeal broad. You're going to have a hard time really scaling things to that next level. So make sure that if you are niche, find a nice little pocket that also appeals to broad. Number four, your content strategy is based on trends, on trending topics. Now you can still blow up a channel with trending topics. You just have to be on the ball because in reality, trending topics have a shelf life. And so you might see something that pops off for a couple of days and then that's gonna hit this like steep cliff. And then you're just gonna have to redo it as frequently as possible. You have to ride those really steep waves. Now, there are a lot of channels that have been super successful with it. And some of you guys actually have some of those channels. I've seen some of your content. Now, some of you guys are borderline stealing other people's content and then just reposting it. I say, hey, uh, it's probably not a good idea. Mm, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But that's another reason why your views might be tanking, why, why they might not be growing as fast. Now, if you're experiencing this as a trending channel, stick with it because trending channels have so much potential, so much potential. People are interested, super fascinated in what other people have to say about trending topics. Now, where you run into issues is where you like react to someone else's reaction about something then we're kind of just getting lazy there. All right, guys, hope that helped. Catch you on the next one. Watch this over here, this over here, peace.